There's a lot of food in 45 verses in, in, in the first chapter of Mark. And if you remember, I said last week that the book of Mark is quick. It's quick. We have to keep up. We have to keep up. That's why sometimes it goes peace. We're going to see here in, in, in Mark chapter 1, Jesus is already 30 years old. He started his ministry. This is the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. And it starts with him being baptized in the Jordan River. We're going to see why he was baptized. Because he didn't have to get baptized. He didn't have to die on the cross either. Alright? So, the, 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 the title is The Servant Revealed. Point assistant, Arachin Geda, Adal Haidar Kinovka, Haidna, Haidna Betsa, Vima Media Spider, Hosse, Haidar Kinirkunarko. He was, my, our brother was giving announcements before, right? He was saying, you know, we've got to pray for here, we've got to do this, we're doing this, we're having this, da 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 da. The first verse in Mark chapter 1 is an announcement. It says, The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Son of God. You're saying, what do you get out of that? You get a lot out of that. I don't need to shut down As Arachin Hamari Mecha Parilurga. By the way, At Hoske Avedaran Parilurga. Right? Parilurga. I forgot totally. I was going to try to sing that song, but it's okay. That's okay. Um, the other three Gospels don't start this way. This one starts with an announcement. If, 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 if this was a newspaper, Mark is the headlines. Mark is simply saying this. He's the Christ, the Son of the living God. Finish. By the way, who said that? Someone said that. Jesus said, who do you say I am? Someone said, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. Who people think wrote this book? Peter, isn't that funny? The first verse announces that. You believe it or you don't believe it, it's the truth. 
سوالات آدی جشمار دیتونه ور یسوس نه آسوبرتی یه پرگیش. پس نه این سه. سه زی هر تون میگو نه هر تون هم. یه مرسو کیگ گرتر نه. آمین مارت میش نور دی دگرانی منچی گرتن یسوس نیم آسیم خوستی. Whenever you read the Bible, everybody always thinks that it's only in the New Testament that Jesus is mentioned. Right? Yeah? No? Yes? Okay. No, it's still on my mind. Shut the mouth. Okay. Now I say yes. But he thinks for Hing Dagan Mitchell, he's just a God. In the Old Testament, there's Jesus. And in fact, you find him in the book of Genesis. I mean, all the way, I'm not saying in the beginning God created, not there. There was a mention of someone coming. Genesis chapter 3. That's the That's the choice you have done to him. Now you say, I'm going to hide enough, check it out, and doing that part of But it's not. Give it a asibet ki haskanan. Martin na asibet ki haskanan. Whatever, this is about biology when we read it. This is right after Adam and Eve sinned. God came, asiga atam yev yevan mech mech kordetsin yev asvat yegav yev hima atam yevayim chosigur yev hima otsin chosigur. He's speaking directly to the snake, and this is what he says. So the Lord God said to the serpent, "Because you have done this, done what? Because you've deceived my two people, my, my creation. You are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go. I guess snakes walked back then. I don't know." And you shall eat dust all the days of your life. Okay, here it is. Here's the verse. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. Enmity, that word, is like war. Hatred. And between, okay, here's the word. Between your seed and her seed. Excuse me, time out. Look here, everyone. Do women have seed? No, listen, listen to it biologically. Do women have a seed? No, the men have the seed. The woman is the, the seed catcher. Okay, what is God saying there? God is saying that in the woman is going to be something supernatural in the future. Look, I don't know how I didn't know how each credit. Pites took Gartatzik. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. He shall bruise your head, you shall bruise his heel. Speaks directly of the cross. Mark wasted no time. Listen, he didn't care about genealogy. He didn't care about all this and all that because he's introducing a servant. What mattered to him was Jesus. مارکوسین نه نه جامان کی گوشت سوت آسان خوست آدم خوست آس اندالی که هست که نگاه آسی کنده نه هدیه که چه مسیر گور گاره بود چه؟ پس مارکوسین گاره بود چون یسوس یه ایر پرگیچ الله ایر آسو ورتین الله نه می شدن کم گوشتین مارتیک نرو گو گایی مارتیک نرو می شم گوشتین می آن کمی سین آن تر چند تا از تر چند تا از Sometimes we try to witness to people, and we go in a big circle when the word Jesus is not even mentioned once yet. Listen, when we witness, start with Jesus and end with Jesus. Finish. Isusinet iskasir, isusinet verchatsul choska. Adi parilura. Chema? Adi parilura che. Mark basically said, you want good news? Here's some good news. Jesus is the Son of God. That's some good news. That's some good news. His name is Jesus, right? Now he's just said. Baz Anune. Which is Baz Anune? A Yepraiden Aun Hesuye. Joshua. Joshua. But Joshua meant something. What did Joshua mean? Does anyone know? And if, no, no, no. You're the one that came. No? Parkit, Sal. No, actually, it means salvation. It means salvation. Pergutium. Pergutium. Christos, nay, I did Magano the chef. Il Magano the Christo, his last name wasn't Christ. 
so you guys know that. Christ was a title. It meant Pergich, Ane Pergich. If Hedo, Irene Sabor, Asoborti, Son of God. Now, let me explain this very importantly in the Jewish tradition. The Son of God isn't like Nikki is my son. Okay? I have a son, his name is Nikki. But in the Jewish tradition, one of the minute you say son of, it means you're equal to. So, I see that this is a cute little fact, just follow along here. Anyone ever seen this logo? Okay, the fish logo. In the old, in, in back when the, 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 the church started in the book of Acts, a lot of times they were careful where they started churches, synagogues and stuff, where they worshiped Jesus as Savior. They would put this on the outside. This is the mark. I said, "Ye gira tinero tu se gita nein vor Christianne monia." But inchu asi endretsi, inchu zuk endretsi. Bet kemen imam ne ovu ni zuk potoin vran. Yes, imam imu shat bezikher bet. But si ma meche Jesus gita nein shat shat kich as hunare harov bebes kas meche. It's called ichthys, I-C-H, no, I-C-T-H-Y-S, ichthys, it is, that's what, it is in Greek, fish, but what does it mean? The I stands for Jesus, Jesus, that's how they spell Jesus with an I. The chi, the X is a chi, right, that's Christos, or anointed. The, 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 the O and the thing in the middle is like a theta. It's the, the, the Greek word theta that means Theos, God. Ypsilon is son. Sigma is savior. Put it all together. Jesus Christ, God's son, savior. That's what that logo is. Jesus Christos Aso Vortin Rikich. Verse 1. That's what it is. Verse 1. If we don't know that, then we don't know Christianity. I think many Christians think that Christianity means something different. Kids may think they think beyond. What's religion? Grom. Me and Grom think. If the parents are making something different, if the parents are making something havada, if the Jesus is making something different, if the people are making something different, me and Grom think. We only know religion if we have not accepted Jesus as Savior. We don't know Him as God's Son. We don't know Him as the Anointed One. We have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. People, many people come in and out of church and they don't know Jesus. They come in and out. 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 And they get old in and out, in and out, in and out. And they grow. And they don't know the Savior. Ushati get get mark. Yo, I saw... Now, Aspar can be mentioned in this school, but Asmik can be mentioned in this school, not Aspar. No. The distance between heaven and hell is 18 inches. What does that mean? Between your brain and your heart. There's 18 inches. Shat Marti Kisus in Moskiden. Ted Bosh Chetichat. Osichnane Gyanku Gapoch Nimek. That's the problem. That's the problem with the church today. Not this church. When I say church, don't misunderstand. I mean the entire church. That's the problem with Christians, including me. We look here. We don't get it here. Here's, here's a little lesson, and this is not even here. I don't, it doesn't matter. If you want to pray for someone, pray for their heart to change. Not their bodies, not their minds, their hearts to change. Megu Muhammad bi da'wat isne sidin to be. Sidin hamar a'wat ya. Uri shifan mit mit ne a'wat ya. Sidin. Dere sidin bukhe. 
See the bochet. Change his heart. Change her heart. Change their heart. It's the most important thing. Okay. Yegdot Gedda. Zara, in which we sing Hayt Nevetza, he may yegdot ma answer in Hayt Nets, Adal Batkama Pedi. A messenger, I am. I don't tell him A messenger. Yeah, that messenger is who? John the Baptist. He's my favorite character in the Bible. I'm in a city that's on the so kick in the chair. But when this we get a pitch. If he can dig out on that, uh, 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 I'm in a city that's in the dig out on the other year. Nice. 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 Ara perem ke sen charuf mega chip. Vachot mega chip. John the Baptist was not afraid of anybody. John the Baptist looked at Pharisees and said, "You guys are vipers. You guys are vipers." Otsek tuk ke sen ke sen ke sen vor yete tuk chapas charet ne chikoch vit ne sa ke sen vor how do you say acts? Gatzin. 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 Gatzin ke sen zarin zayre ne sa the axe is at the root. It's going to be cut and thrown into the fire. What am I going to get out of the chair? I'm going to say. Touch your chapat yah bar. Chill out, Frank. Gam kar, gam bat kam poche, gam kezmi poche. Yes, sir. Truth. Sadly, it's change your message, or we're changing the messenger. Mark remembers prophecies from the Old Testament. He puts two prophecies in one. He puts the a prophecy of Malachi and the prophecy of uh, uh, Isaiah, and he says that there's someone coming to prepare the way. It's in Malachi. Marakia, right? Marakia, yeah. Marakia, chore scene. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dead, dead, dreadful day of the Lord. By the way, says he probably be the same. Of Hari, of Hariya in Jerusalem. Yet for a in Guna at Seder Gachin, at Joshua Uden, Passover in Joshua. Mish Barab at Horga. Borama. Yeriaina, Yeriaina. For the Kidembor, Yerian Beteka, Events Messiaina. Events Yerian is passing. But yet the circuit is shut. The stack are tank there, each is the one is religion massive. He was the Elijah that they're waiting for. Why do you think the Pharisees asked him, Are you Elijah? What did he say? No. Why did he say no? Because he didn't want them to know, because they didn't really want to know. Yeah. <laughs> In verse 4 it says, John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance. He's in the wilderness, by the way. Anabadi Mechek. But it's not, you can eat, now it's the eat part, come on, Adam Keshev, the, you see what, Josephus, says Mark Maga, or historian, and history, you can, Anabashkare, you know, Christonian Che, me on history, you can, I get it. We said, what about Orel Garbor, Hyrule Hazard Martik, your time, who wants to get teaching or make it the win? No, it's in Batka Macha, but Keshev, your Martik, your time. Should I come? We said, what? Gam, Martik, and Sidda, Barabatunga. Either John was, I said that Josephus, an old time uh, historian, pre, uh, he wrote, he was an unbeliever, he wrote that there were days that hundreds of they said the most was 100,000 people went to be baptized by John in one day. 
It either showed, see, John, you know, John, we say that, oh, John was a fiery preacher. He was, but he must have been preaching something right. Because people's hearts went. That's why we can't be afraid to preach the truth. Me or you. When you talk to someone, don't say, oh, brother, God has a great plan for your life. Don't say that. What? John? No, no, no. Don't say that. First you have to say, hey, do you know Jesus? Say You know you're a sinner, you have to repent. Then you can say, hey, God has a great plan for your life when you're his child. I was talking to a dent I went to a dentist. I'm driving back from Connecticut. My cat fell out. Call a dentist. Anything, I, I, my dad, Bob Ice, I call my dad. I said, I, can you call your dentist friend? I can go get this fixed. The next day is Harvey Cedars. Okay, so he said, I went. He was a Christian, but he was a new Christian. And I found out what I do. He's working on my teeth. I need to talk to you afterwards. Okay. He pulls me into the office. 20 minutes he's talking to me. He's telling me everything, his plans, and how God changed his heart. And he's telling me stuff, and in my heart, I said, stop. I said, are you born again? He was saying the right words. I said, are you born again? So Jesus said, you must be born again. You can't enter the kingdom of heaven if you're not born again. And he stopped. And he said, well, yeah, I think I am. And then I explained what it was. You see, we have to be careful. Martin <laughs> Martin Gain or Anna Badi Mechain, Karasundan, Guitar Nine, Ugutar Nine, Guitar Nine, Guitar. It's a picture. John the Baptist is trying to give them a picture. He's in the wilderness. Who went around in the wilderness for 40 years in the Old Testament? Because they were what? John is saying, You remember your ancestors? They were in the wilderness for 40 years? Yes. Well, you're the same way. But you're not physically in, in the wilderness, you're spiritually in the wilderness, he's saying. And he's saying, but just like Joshua took you from the wilderness into the promised land, there's a Joshua coming to do the same for you spiritually. Amen. It's the same picture. <laughs> Because look, the, the, the children of Israel in the wilderness were technically saved. They were not spirit-filled. Shat Marti Kambor, Hokie Vorabes, Merate, Vorabedev, at Hokim, Adora Marti, Hokvanes, we did just have a nice says it's Chirok, and Magadem, I wish I have it. But in Kokabor, says he in Chopi, the Magadem, so Hokio, Ujuzek, Ach, and the Garden, so Hokio, Magadavates. Karozit Magavri is a menis kisiling in John Corson, the Anna. Mr. Gedne, that's the Uta Dustin Alexander, again, at Tubrotsky Tagur College. I'll get to this name, just bear with me. Yep. Savor Orma Karosko Dagur, Yuti Hamar. But it's Hyro Vigirku Yerkar Yunkarachiva. You know, interesting, we're going to see Karosko Dagur, Yuti Hamar. Get out there, Sav, got time for the Pata de Gor, sit in the chair, discuss for yes, as soon as I'm a book tree. Focus on chance. 
Es que está hablando, está pinchando a San Barak, es tan fuerte. A San, ¿cómo se llama el coronel? ¿Cómo que está chido a San Tomás? Anyway, de hecho, entonces, por tu imagen me da, color que se ve, por tu imagen que se ve. Puta, ¿y no da se llama? Que se ve, que me da 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 se ve, Ie vor mă dau de ei mega pasă, mă gândesc să fac ceva ce nu-i și mă gândesc de ei, să vor să vor că nu am mega mega de fost el. Ha, să să mă întreb mai bine că a hot pe tine. În ce unii să să vor așa un ușchi unii, sînt unii mama nici să ai unii susțin de sine să mi-e frizare ei, mai te așa ești. Să vor tu, să te ocupi de mergătoare. Vă ce să. Să văd eu chestia mai multe în sală. Să văd că sunt mai multe. Azi mă arătă țări că vă arătă la urmă. Și am cursat în acuzie gol. Azi mă arătă că au te gol. Și am cursat în supochin băgăt pe tine vără în egal. Și să văd că sunt le zune rău a hotel. Asta nu ți-a ți-a văd. E pas zogă para vără în gără sa. Nor uși egal meces. Nor ura hotune egal. Să văd gărății mă dar. Cior jam zungin vără în egal țări care vără. Jangan tu profit sah ada mereka kiri macam jangan kurus nak hidup profit. Jangan kurus ini was preaching to a bunch of teens. He had no desire to preach anymore, so he drove around all night, thinking, what is wrong with me? He goes to Calvary Chapel, goes to Mesa. He he runs into a pastor. The pastor says, hey, he goes, hey, can you pray for me? He goes, sure. He goes, what's the matter? What are you feeling? He told him what he's feeling. He says, have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit? He said, no. He goes, well, can I pray for you? Do you want to be baptized? He goes, yeah, why not? So he prayed for him. And as he was praying, John Corson was baptized in the Spirit. He actually said himself that he began to like worship the Lord in tongues, just you know, quietly to himself. And then all of a sudden, he found himself at the altar of the church for four hours on his knees, the hands lifted, worshiping the Lord, and that changed his life. By the way, it changed a lot of our lives too, because we get to hear God uses him to speak to us. That's why the baptism of the Spirit is very important. You can't do service without that. Because you will run out of power. It is super king ujamin chulinkne, arans ujibi kalink. Mer uja de baratna, girta. Adoramar. Inchpes povarnes magerdice sa vor tu ko ke vora bes anabadi mechek shader nisa shad ma kristonyanera ko ke vora bes anabadi mechek. Listen, I said a lot of Christians are in the wilderness today. I didn't say non-believers. Non-believers are still in Egypt. They didn't make it to the wilderness yet. Water baptism is very important. Spirit baptism is what you need to serve the Lord. Okay? And I'm not going to go into the whole spirit baptism message because then we'll be here for hours and I, I, I don't know. But we will one day, I promise we will. We have to talk about that one day. It's very important to, be desi to, de to desire to, to, to be baptized in the spirit and give the people opportunity too if they want to pray for that. Romans 6, 4 says, this is, this is what baptism is. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that Jesus, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. We died to our old self and we rose to be new. That's the point of baptism. But it's not baptism that saves you. It's not religion that saves you. And it's not a church that saves you. And it's not an experience that saves you. It's Jesus Christ that saves you. Even an experience. I don't know experience each other. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light, and the one comes to the Father, but through me. You think he was just saying this for the fun of it? No! But look, John preached repentance. Uh-oh. 
That's a big word. Repentance. Ovanes abash harukyun karuzet. Ima abash harel para hayren of dar pere amkhelen of dar pere. Ima mati kese moriyes abash harel si. Kaz kiden por orer gan por petke noren abash hari. Ima chen se dor nor kiston yami tar nas noren. Abash harukyun para the word repentance in the Greek is a is a, is a very it's a funny word if you think about it. It's, it's a word that fishermen use. If I'm the captain of a fish, a fish, fisherman, a boat, I could be captain of a fish too, I guess, right? If I'm the captain of a boat, right, and I know we're going the wrong way, I would say, and this is the Greek word, metanoia. What do the people in the front know? Turn the boat around and we're going back the other way. We were going this way, we got to go this way. That's the word that John used right there. At hosting and for over this we're going to record that it's metanoia unarene ada hairun utsun astijan petketarnak ada abashkarutuna. That's repentance. 180 degree turn. Not 178. Not 179. You know that if you're flying an airplane and you go one degree off, you'll end up in another state. For the Christian, it's the same meaning. Change your mind, your heart, 180 degrees. I used to be this way, but now I'm this way. Yes, asangye ikarachima asangye. Chema sergogo turine. That's asuzohed. Angareli pamachiga. Right? With God, all things are possible. I can, it's okay, I know you can. But Jesus can. And how does repentance start? It starts from the heart, absolutely, but it starts from realizing one thing. I'm a sinner. I have a problem. Romans 3.23, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. If someone comes to you and says, well, I don't want to sin, say, get away from me because something is wrong. Go away. You're already sinning anyway because you're lying. There was that guy in Korea who said he was Jesus. He said he hasn't sinned since 1985. <laughs> Mega gar Korean match vor in Zinka Jesus gegangen. Das sah vor Hazarina und zum Hingen in Chef Himat nicht check ortas. Chavor. Nein, but once we realize we're sinners, we have great promises in the Bible. So kick him and shut um host host nerga. Ihr was uns host ne. Mit gehabadan. Nein, arachi mo man mentina. Every Christian should love this verse. It says, God is faithful and reliable. If we confess our sins, He forgives them and cleanses us from everything we've done wrong. It's a very simple translation. I believe Christians need to stop trying, stop, stop trying to think for God and say, wow, will He forgive me? How many of you guys have said that? i said that many times. Or, He's not going to forgive me this time. Like, no! We must believe that when God says He forgives, it's finished. He forgives. It's finished. The step. It ke Christon yaner kenan asan astudzo hamar mingshat ke madazeng astudzo hamar. In zinis astudzer ke madazeng. Amar aswat tu asan yene. Kam gesen chinere rinzi kam asiga chelar vot shinzi bitneres vot nay. So, what is the word? Shut the star! You will host the body still in the case again. I think I have that said. I'm not saying it's a license to sin. Don't misunderstand me. Chemo said, Go, it was the canal's out of the day, you will host the body. I'll be sure. There was a Catholic priest, a brand new Catholic priest. He was new to the confessionals, right? The 
first day he was in the confessional, he's listening to everybody to come in, leave, come and go. So at the end of the day, the priest comes, the main big priest, his boss. He says, look, when you're in the confessional, you have to think of other words to say except for wow. <laughs> Just to see if you guys are with me. <laughs> Jesus doesn't say wow. He says you're forgiven. You guys can study about his clothing, in Hakusta. He wore camel's hair inside out. Again, it's a picture of sin, the irritation of sin. He's saying sin makes you uncomfortable, doesn't it? Does sin make you uncomfortable? No, it sure does. That's why he's saying you have to repent. Listen, John was a very, very, very humble man. Jesus said that there was none that came from women greater than John the Baptist. By the way, that includes David, that includes Abraham, that includes Moses. It's not just the New Testament, because John was an Old Testament prophet. Um, Elijah, Eli, I can keep going on. John was, Jesus saw John as the greatest of all people that were born of woman. Yet, yet, John was so humble, he said, you know what? He who comes after me is preferred before me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. He said, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He said, he must increase, I must decrease. Amen. When's the last time he said that? Be careful. We may have the Lucifer syndrome, I want to be like God. Sometimes we have that in our own lives. We don't say it necessarily, but we act like it. We want to be gods of our own life. Listen, I believe anybody that, and we're going to move on to the last point because we're, we're okay with time still, but I believe any preacher of the gospel if, you don't, if they don't preach Jesus and Jesus only, you need to stop listening to them today. I'm telling you right now. If the Karo Zichmaga, or he's just a Chikaro Zergo, Marin Tsek, he's just a Chinese. Turn it off. You won't be upset. We have to love on Jesus. John loved Jesus. By the way, John was his cousin. Jesus 
این سیرلی بورتیس برون هف نیره اکتیزی هرچون ایسوس یه لسون در اگر نیست هم منال چه رو بستر Jesus was only 30 here He didn't do one miracle He didn't raise anybody from the dead He didn't open any blind eyes Listen, God is well pleased when we live our lives the right way. Not just in church. Jesus was an honest businessman. He was a carpenter. He was an honest businessman. He honored his mother and his father. He honored God the Father. And he lived the right way. So God said, I am well pleased in you, my beloved son. He didn't wait until he was on the cross and then he said, you are my beloved son. Now I am well pleased with you. He said, I'm well pleased with you, my son, up to now. You, you've done things right. She dug Gabriel's for me. She had to be me and the guillotine. Zara to the next day. Make a chip or asphalt. Mezi, gahavni, abhavnat, para, gamezme gurahana. Tursana. Doing match in space covering. Amusin, gin, irar head in space covering. Mama, baba, I mean, ha, zaba in space covering. Mama in baba in head. Kids, how do you deal with your parents? Parents, how do you deal with your children? Husbands, why? How are you with one another? God is pleased with that. He's not only pleased if you come here and raise your hands and you go home and live like you want. You have to be careful. That's, that, that, that's, the, that's what Jesus, God is saying here. I'm well pleased with how you've been living, Jesus, up till now. For us too. For us too. And over here, for the, you know, one of the only times in the Bible we see the Trinity. Yero Rikino Sides Nek Megu. Haid Aswaz, Sukokin, Gorti Aswaz. It's great. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Last, actually, I have one verse here. Let's just do this real quick and we'll move and then we'll, we'll finish up. 1 John 5, 5 through 8 in the Living Bible, it says, But he, but who could possibly fight and win this battle except by believing that Jesus is truly the Son of God? And we know he is because God said so with a voice from heaven when Jesus was baptized. Okay. The greatest commentary on the Bible is the Bible. Isn't that great right there? Listen to that. And again, he was facing death. Yes, only at his baptism, but also, not only at his baptism, but also as he faced death. And the Holy Spirit, forever and truthful, said it too. So we have these three witnesses, the voice of the Spirit in our hearts. Listen, this is the witnesses in us. The, vo the Holy Spirit in our hearts, the voice from heaven at Christ's baptism, and the voice before He died. And they all say the same thing, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Three witnesses. Heaven confirms that Jesus is the Son of God. You know, our challenge today is to recognize who Jesus is as we finish this here. I sort of, um, Merzak, what? Challenge, Inche? Merzak Sutyun? That's okay, Inche, Merzak Sutyun. Okay. You know, we're going to ask you to come and see you. We're going to ask you to come and see you. We're going to ask you to come and see you. We're going to ask you to come and see you. What? Kitek yete yergin ka gahasta dedu, er gahasta degor. Mar arat umanat soyde bichi hasta dedu bichi bichi entu. If heaven is confirming, who are we to not admit it or not to accept it? I read today that in England there is more atheists than there are Christians. It's coming. It's coming. You think it's bad now. You won't be able to say the word Jesus anywhere. But you can say other words. You can say Muhammad. Because God forbid someone says something about him. We have to understand that. 
When we read our Bible, we have to look for Jesus everywhere. Or so people just got thinking that he's a simple thing. That he's a simple thing. Charles Spurgeon, Carlos H. Bogart, Tabrot Sunil, you have to say, okay, get your Bibles. I'm going to ask you to get your Bibles. So keep it passing. Got it? That's not good. Passing. He's just a good thing. That's what he would say. Charles Spurgeon would say, close your Bibles. Everybody, close your Bibles. Okay, open them. Find Jesus in those two pages right there. Find Jesus and tell him. You find him. You find him. Try that. That's fun, right? It's called Bible roulette. We're going to try that. It's, it's a lot safer than Russian roulette. <laughs> I'm not even going to read this verse. Everybody knows this verse. Jesus Christ is saying yesterday, today, and forever. You might say, "Si hartsun, hartsun, irguartsu." Arachina, I have two questions. First one: Have you surrendered your life completely over to Jesus? Completely. Not partially, completely. Have I surrendered my life completely over to Jesus? Does he have all of you? Does he have all of me? All of me. Tunku gyanket iren nevireles holorovi. Nei? Asiga abash kalukin masin chen kosikor. Nevir vil para dar pere. Nevir vil Gyan, nevir vat gyan te dar pere. Kan te mian abash karat mega. A born again believer is a lot different than a surrendered believer. A surrendered believer has no fear. Our brother said before, ISIS are chopping people's heads off. Those are surrendered Christians. Because they say, I'll die for my Savior. Will you die for Jesus? We can't even die to ourselves for Him. And does He have all of you? Listen. Muy sartzuma nadal amene bin kezi uni, Jesus. Amene bin. Can't even make a bad count of it. Can't even start to tune it. Or yet the mercy didn't do it. Can't even make it do it. Amen. Do not make it sin yet. Catch him. But in which Allah, Shadan can make it sin. Jesus, Paulo, do not ask. But at sin yet, we need to know. Hajis. Panalim kovas kovana. Jesus, make it sin. At sin yet, we need to be chidaste. We need to ask him. Catch him. We need to say. In the master panalim. We have to get Jesus the master key of our house, of our hearts. And if not, listen, don't be discouraged. If not, today is the day. They say, Boch, I saw Orne. I saw Orne and I said, Then, Tunki des. Yes, was in Polorovi in the Vilvil Kis. If I saw how to tune Aritov, Adam Gernangene, for a bit of tea, make the Ishenki Susmesi Amarinchana. If you hear what he says, Jesus, I'm clear on the sin, I'm all in. Everybody likes poker. I'm all in. Right? I'm all, are we all in? Do we want to be all in? Yes. Because listen, being all in, Jesus begins to do the crazy things in your life. Jesus says, I'm all in. Inch panel in the young people. Jesus <laughs> I don't know if you can see Jesus in the middle of the carousel. You have Ibe. You have Naitse. You have a lot of people who are in the middle of the carousel. You have a lot of people who are in the middle of the carousel. You have a lot of people who are in the middle of the carousel. You have a lot of people who are in the middle of the carousel. You have a lot of people who are in the middle of the carousel. This is real Bible study. So. 
What I was saying was when you read John chapter, when you read Mark 1, when you get to verse 13, before, between verse 13 and 14, there's a year of separation. One year. And when, when, that, when you get there, all you have to do is read Mark 1, uh, John 1 to John 4. And that's the one year gap. Okay? You know what? Let's pray. Let's pray and prepare our hearts for, for communion. Maybe for communion, maybe we can come up a little bit. Um, but I want to pray. I want to give people the opportunity to... Um, He's gonna, uh, our brother's going to put on some music, and what I want to do is I want to give us some time to, you know what, surrender our hearts to the Lord. You know, let's do it for real. Let's do it once and for all. Let's do it like say, Lord, I want to change. But say, Lord, you have to change me because I can't change myself. That's the biggest problem. When we try with our own strength, it doesn't work. We just get tired. <coughs> Yes, I don't know what he was in Orlando about. Nor a king. If you want the Holy Spirit, pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon you. Because God can do it. Because we all need it. We all need it. Father, as everybody prays now, Lord, I pray you speak to hearts. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, I pray you go around and you touch the hearts, Lord, of those here. I pray you renew them. Father, there's no words that I can say that can change anybody. It's only you, Jesus. I pray whatever went out today came straight from your heart. And Lord, I pray what wasn't from you, I pray you help everyone to forget. Please, Lord, I pray that renewed men and women of God walk out of here. Surrendered men and women of God walk out of here, Lord. And help us to not be ashamed of who you are, Jesus. For you were never ashamed to save us. You took the shame of the cross for us. We didn't love you, you first loved us, Lord. Help us to remember that as we prepare our hearts for communion, Lord. As we do all this in remembrance of you, Lord. Help us not to do it in tradition. Help us not to do it for religion. Help us not to do it to feel good. Help us to do it in remembrance of your sacrifice. Look, if you don't know Jesus today, don't take communion. Don't. Do yourself a favor, don't take communion. But, if you want to know Jesus, He can save you. He can make you new. All you have to do is pray a simple prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I need you to save me. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me clean. Make me new. I want to follow you, Lord, and I need your help. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me a new person. You just have to pray that prayer in your heart quietly. Listen, God hears the, the secret places. You pray that prayer and immediately, it's instant, you're wiped clean. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And you are a new creation, the Bible says. And then you can partake of it. Adam, Adam, 
when the virtual heights in any way. After that, we follow them.